Okay, let's get started. Hi, I am Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Uh, the purpose of this video is it's really geared towards maybe somebody that is new with Stellarium or someone that uh, images from multiple sites and they use uh, Stellarium as their planetary software and also their planning software to look at targets, future targets, and that type of information. So I'm just going to show you um, if you look down here, you see right now the location uh, where Stellarian thinks I'm at is in San Mateo, California, where I happen to live. So uh, there is a location window, and I've never liked this lo location window. It's very, it's very busy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get your location window, uh, for those that may not know, to look like this. And uh, as you see here, here are uh, the four places um, that I'll be imaging from uh, along the course of this uh, season. Uh, hopefully there will be other places as well. So uh, this is a little bit cleaner. And see, what I can do is if I'm going to be planning for my star party up in Aden at the end of the month, I can uh, change Stellarium uh, location so it believes... I'm up in Aden, so when I'm looking at targets and, you know, their altitude and azimuth and everything, uh, it'll be uh, kind of synced to where I'm going to be uh, imaging from. So let's get started. Uh, we'll close this down. So uh, we're going to close this and this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into where Stellarium is. And you may have to... Um, you may have to change your security settings, so we're going to go here, program file, Stellarium. We're going to go into the data folder, and uh, we're going to grab this uh, base uh, locations uh, file. So we're going to copy it. I'm just going to copy it to the desktop. And now that I've got it copied, what I'm also going to do is I am going to rename this. And I'm going to take away the GZ. And I'm going to put just put ORG. Okay, we're going to save that. Uh, yes. Okay. And if you should have to change your um, security settings, uh, you can come in here, as you probably know, uh, properties, security, uh, I kind of do it like all users, and then I'm going to edit, and then I'm going to allow. You want to be careful when you're making these changes. Um, uh, you may or may not have to do that based upon how your uh, installation of Windows is set up. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to open this file. Uh, more apps. We'll take Notepad. I'm going to say OK. And what you got here is a bunch of uh, stuff. <laughs> so uh, to keep it simple, I am just going to go and edit. I'm going to select all. I'm going to delete and I'm going to save. And now what I should come up with is a uh, zero KB file. So let's uh, close that. Let's take a look at this properties. And what I have is a file with zero bytes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into. Um, my directory, Stellarium, into data. Where are we at? Stel uh, Stellarium, data. I'm going to go in data folder. And now I'm going to copy this file back in. OK. And now we see again, we have a .gz file and 0 KB. Okay, and now we're going to open up Stellarium. 
So I'm going to close it first uh, and then reopen it. And then I should be able to go into my location window. And what you see now are only those entries that I entered manually. Uh, it appears uh, when I went up, to, uh, I've got Gerlot here. That's when I went up to the uh, Black Rock Playa up in uh, northwest Nevada. But basically, uh, just the entries that you enter uh, will show. So I find it just a, a little bit cleaner. Uh, for me, I like it that way, and so helpful. Hopefully, that was a helpful uh, tip. And let's just go back on to uh, my B Link U59, which I, which is what I started with, and I I wanted to show you. And while this is uh, great here, and I can change the location for planning purposes, uh, as you probably know, uh, you can also build your locations in EQMod and uh, there are a bunch of um, rows uh, that you can build out so like here's for Aiden here's for Borrego Springs and uh, then I can I can set that uh, which I will do um, and the key thing is when you're setting up these lines uh, whatever you might uh, put in there. You want to hit save, so it's saved. But let's go back uh, to uh, Aiden. Uh, I imagine many people that just image from their backyard don't have a need to change this, but if you're a traveler like I am from time to time, uh, it's good to have these already pre-populated, so when you go to a uh, location. And then I also carry a little uh, Garmin uh, inReach uh, GPS so I can always know where my coordinates are. Most of the time I can just Google them and I find something that's close. But uh, So now let's, uh, I've set it to Aiden, so let's just go into Nina. And uh, we'll close this back over here. Okay, you don't want to cooperate. All right, so now I'm going to disconnect the telescope. I'm going to reconnect. And now it tells me, since I changed the location in EQ mod, um, Nina knows that it had another location previously. So it's asking me if I want to sync from Nina to the telescope or from the telescope to Nina. I'm going to take from the telescope to Nina. And then as you see, let me kill my camera. As you see down in the corner here, we get a success. And now the new... Uh, new location, site latitude, and site longitude are available to you. So, okay, I uh, just want to take a moment to share with you how you might want to clean up your location database in Stellarium if you're a Stellarium user. Again, uh, I've decided to switch over to Stellarium from Carts to Seal. I wasn't even going to use a uh, planetarium package with Nina because of the Sky Atlas, but then I went looking for a star and, and I could not find it. Oh, and another tip that came in from that video, uh, which you uh, might be aware of, but I added a manual focus tab. And so if you're looking for stars that you might want to use to, use to focus, uh, there's a whole list here of stars that are available where they're located. And uh, thank you, Simon, for that tip. Sure, appreciate it. Uh, very helpful. And so to others who may be new to the channel, it's worthwhile to take time to read the comments and uh, ask your questions in there because I'm very fortunate to have some viewers that are much more experienced than me and they help give me guidance and direction, which I really appreciate. And you can leverage from that as well if you're uh, checking out the comments and everything. So, okay, um, what I showed was just how to clean up that location table. It might be of interest to you, maybe not, but I don't like clutter, so I decided to do that. Okay, so if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, clear skies. Till next time.
never quit. Do it right. Play the game. Win it life. Have no shame. There's no time for the pain.